Hey everybody, this is Yarrow. Welcome back. Um, so all that shenanigans that happened in the last episode, uh, yeah, Mary's actually back in the party. And, um, yeah, Samwise is gone. Poor Samwise. I really should have saved that money, though. <laughs> or found some other means to get money. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll roll with Mary for a little bit. And maybe, uh, get, get some money. And, uh... Bring him back. And and get rid of Mary. <laughs> Mary sucks. <laughs> Anyhow, going down into the maze. And I'm going to do my janky sort of uh, healing up. So, my spellcasters leveled up last episode, but they didn't learn any new spells. Alright, I'm going to also take this opportunity to reorder... Now, I'm probably not playing this game perfectly. No, I'm, I'm definitely not playing this game perfectly. Uh, you know, I could have perhaps made better choices as as far as race combination. Um, and you're probably better off just going full evil so that you have a chance of getting a ninja. Or better, it's easier to get a ninja. You know, because one of your guys has to be evil and he has to, uh, or she has to um, have like 17 in almost every stat. Uh, but they're super powerful. And they they actually play best without any weapons. Um, anyway, what was I doing? Yes, I'm going into the inn. Septimus is going to take a nap in the stables. So he, he gets his spells back. Um, how much gold do I have now? I don't think Mary had a whole ton of gold on him, uh, but let's just let's just go in here to pool the gold. We only have 208 GP, which is nothing. So we need to get up to 750 because I don't want to level Mary up all the way again. But kind of the problem happens is is my thief is now going to be behind, and that's just the way of it. All right, fight, fight, fight. Perry, hide, Perry. Now it's not critical that uh, that I have a very high level thief. Um, as far as party members go, like the thief is really not the. Uh, oh my God, Mary! <laughs> All right, yeah. It's pro that's probably happening because Mary's uh, Mary's agility sucks. Well, not sucks, but it's not that good. You'd think that luck would play a little bit into it too. He's got 18 luck, but no. And he got poisoned. And I'm not burning up that neutralize on him. He's only got 4 HP. Oh, and we're in another encounter. So, okay, perfect. We can see if round by round if uh, the poison progresses. Because I'm really not sure. Uh, yes, it does. Alright, so... Well, Mary, I really don't care about you. So you're going to die as well. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a dick. <laughs> I'm really not. Um, so anyway, I'll go inspect. I will pool all the gold. Um, who has... Uh, oh, I unequipped, but I didn't actually trade out all those items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go equip... I'm going to take off all his items, and I go item, go trade, and sure, just give it to Yarrow. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we picked apart his dead corpse. You already died twice, Mary, through traps that you couldn't disarm. So, I'm really sorry, but you gotta go. And so now... I and I have to get that much gold just for the chance of getting Samwise back. 
Now, I still need a thief, though, or else, you know, I'm gonna, you know, more often than not, a chest is there, right? And yeah, you can kind of roll the dice and open them, but a lot of times they are actually trapped, so... Uh, I can't pay the tithe. I only have 274 gold. I could try reviving him, I'm, but I'm not going to. So, let's make a new thief. Go to the training grounds and, and, and recruit somebody. Um, maybe I should just number them. Because I seem to just run through thieves all the time. Uh, but, but seriously. Um... Uh, I, I'm trying to be creative here, but uh, I'm just going to... Actually, I'm not. Jim. A hobbit named Jim. Um, well, he's got to be neutral. Bonus of 15. Well. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this actually uh, isn't too bad. Maybe up his strength a little bit, so maybe those ambushes do a little bit more damage. I might just keep this guy. All right, I'm gonna change his name, cause now he he might he might uh he might be a permanent now, even though he's three levels behind. And I'm going to name him Jimbo. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> or Jim Bob? Nah, Jimbo. Name changed. All right, Jimbo. All right, let's go back to the castle. Let's form our party again. That is a little bit annoying. Every time you go to the training grounds, it completely uh, resets your party. All right, hopefully Jimbo uh, doesn't die. Um, now we can go to Yarrow. We can trade out some of the items. Trade. And he will give to Jimbo. He will give the short sword, the leather armor, and the small shield. Alright, and then we go to Jimbo. Yeah, so the interface is still pretty clunky, but it's actually a big improvement over the Apple version. Um, and there is also load times and everything from when you uh, change screens, so... I don't know, maybe as an experiment, you know, maybe if I get like a, a, a video camera or whatever, I can set up my, my old Apple and uh, actually show you the, the actual old game in its, in its original form. Um, there's also like an MS DOS version that came out in the mid 80s, so you can pay it. So you know you can play it on DOS through DOSBox as well, and its graphics are a little bit better too. Um, you know, but yeah, the Apple II graphics are just ancient. Okay, uh, let's go down into the maze with our all-star Jimbo. He's got 18 agility and 18 luck, and oh, well, that was stupid. But uh, I tend to do a lot of dumb things, like uh, like my attempt to do math earlier. Yeah, that was... <laughs> I just ended up confusing myself, but, you know, yeah. It's just don't do math when you're, uh, when you're playing games. It's, it's, it's not going to work. So, maybe I can just slow down the game speed in the emulator, and maybe that'll actually allow, but I... I thought for sure that you could just click through. You had a mode where it would actually, you know, wait for you to press a button. And it's just like I don't like it just cuz it's it's confusing, right? Um sometimes you don't know who hit who hit who, right? Like they make the same sound for when uh when one of your characters hits the enemy. Open it. Oh, damn it. Oh, he only took one damage. Probably because of his superstar agility. Alright, Jimbo. No. Um, we could even, like, make a whole new party. And kind of level Jimbo up there. So, and, you know, just to kind of get him up to, you know, maybe level 2, level 3. So that he doesn't lag behind too, too much. I don't know, maybe... I don't I don't think they had any sort of, like, you know, leveling bonus or whatever, right? Like, if, you know... 
uh, if somebody's a lower level than everybody else, that he gets a little bit of a bonus to the XP? I don't think so. Um, I think that was, I think that was put into the pen and paper RPG, but but I think thieves uh, per level they have uh, they have a lower requirement. They only need like. Like I don't know, 700 XP or or whatever it is, uh, compared to a fighter that needs a thousand to to hit level one. So I think their level up requirements are a little bit more generous anyway. Ooh, so he backstab for six damage. So, all right, Jimbo, take a look. It's a poison needle. Ooh. Well, not not open. <laughs> Done that mistake before. You couldn't disarm it. What do you mean you can't disarm it? You disarm the trap. That's better, Jimbo. So yeah, I, I think that little math thing, I was like, well, you gotta go 13 times 6. And then I said, well, you know, that's 148 or something. Uh, but no, 13 times 6. You know, mentally I, I was trying to, to sort of break it up. You know, 13 times 6, what, what do you do? I just, I just go, um, you know, break it up into... 10 times 6 plus 3 times 6, right? So that's, what, 78? Yeah, so I think I had it right the first time. But then I went back and, and confused myself, and and yeah, that was, that was, that was pretty silly. But, hey. Uh, in this day and age, you don't really need to do math in your head. That's why we got calculators, right? <laughs> All right, so let's uh, venture around here again. Um, but yeah, I'm not quite sure how the levels are laid out. Like, I don't know if just level by level, you know, the mobs get tougher, or in certain sections of the level they get tougher. Oh, yeah, they see uh, th these orcs are trying to uh, cast spells on me. Uh, Jimbo, inspect the chest. It's a stunner. Alright, disarm. Now, I do like how it automatically selects, right? And he disarmed it. So on level 1, you'll find exploding boxes, you'll find stunners, and you'll find, uh, poison needles. Well, and crossbow bolts as well. The other ones, they usually come into the late game. Well, later on. But yeah, I'm not sure how the identification works. I think it relies on intelligence, and huh, my mage, which which is me, um, he he doesn't have the highest intelligence. But I, I think a rule is made on your intelligence, and if you beat it, then then you identify who the monsters are, even though you might have seen them before. It's it's a little silly, but oh come on, disarm it, disarm it. You could not disarm it. Come on. Maybe it relies a little bit on intelligence uh, to disarm. I, mean, I don't know. Um, and I don't think even the game manual uh, explicitly states uh, how the mechanics work exactly. Uh, I could be wrong. I haven't looked at the manual in, in a very, very long time. But that could be true. Anyways, I don't think we've been over here. Okay, so there's no sort of special stuff around. Um, oh, hey, X or Y, <laughs> the option menu. Oh, so you can search. Uh, wow, I, I forgot all about this. All right, we'll explore this in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.